Hey guys, I'm back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about the integration constant plus c. Why do we have to put a plus c and what is the use of it? Okay, so now I'm going to show you an example where if we don't put the integration constant, our integral answers would differ. So let's take the function f of x is equal to tan square x. So now let's differentiate this function. We will get f prime of x is equal to 2 times tan x times x square x. So now if we integrate this, we should get back to this answer, right? And that only works if we put the integration constant. So now let's look why that's the reason. So let's say we have this function and we don't know this. We have to find the integral of f prime of x. So that gives us 2 times the integral of tan x times sec square x dx. So now there's two ways of solving this integral. Let's look at both the ways. So in the first method, we can substitute u as tan x. And in the second method, we will have u is equal to sec square x. Let's differentiate this. We get du is equal to sec square x dx. And this integral just becomes 2 times u du. Now let's look at this one. We have du is equal to 2 times sec x times sec x tan x dx. Now this is exactly our integral. So this just becomes the integral of du. So now if we solve this, we get 2 times u square upon 2 plus c. And this gives us just u which is sec square x. And um, this is tan square x plus c. So now if we didn't put this c, you can see that tan square x and sec square x are not the same function. So we will have different answers to the same integral. So now how does the constant of integration help? So we have two answers. One is tan square x plus c and the second one is sec square x plus c. So now if we, so now let's add plus one and minus one here. We get tan square x plus one plus c minus one. And c minus one will just become another constant and this is the same as sec square x. So we get sec square x plus c2, let's say. This is the second constant. And here we have sec square x plus c. Or we could do the same and get sec square x plus 1 plus c minus 1 here. This time we take sec square x minus 1 and it becomes tan square x plus c plus 1. And this becomes tan square x plus c2. So now this is why we need the constant of integration so that we don't have different answers to the same integral. So now let me explain this using graphs. Let's look at this graph. We have y is equal to x plus 5. So now the slope of this line is 1. So we will have dy by dx is equal to 1. So now from here we get dy is equal to dx. So now if we integrate both sides we get y is equal to x. But this is without putting the integration constant. And we know that this is not our original line. In fact, if we put the plus c this gives us a family of lines with the same slope but different y-intercept. And that is why we need plus c because if we just integrated the derivative, we would just get the slope of the line and not its y-intercept. So now let's look at the function f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 6x plus 10. So now if we take the derivative, f prime of x is equal to 6x plus 6. So now what if we integrate this function, but this time we have a boundary. Let's say from 0 to 10, we integrate 6x plus 6 dx. So now this is basically the area under the graph of 6x plus 6 from 0 to 10. 
it's not a perfect drawing it's supposed to be a straight line but we're basically finding this area so now this won't be a problem even if we have a different constant here let's say we have the constant 3x square plus 6x plus 9 let's say or let's say 100 that wouldn't be a problem because we're still going to be finding this area and it won't change because of the constant because when we find the derivative it'll get removed so for all family of functions 3x square plus 6x plus c the definite integral from any boundary would be the same we can also look at it like this let's say we find the indefinite integral of 6x plus 6 dx that will give us 6x square upon 2 plus 6x plus c and now we put the boundaries from 0 to 10 so that gives us 3 10 squared plus 6 times 10 plus c minus 3 times 0 squared my uh, minus 3 times 0 minus c so this just becomes 0 and the minus c gets cut out so we don't have to worry about the constant when we're taking a definite integral because when we put the boundaries it will get cut out hey guys if you've made it till here you're a legend please click here and subscribe for more content and keep watching